Uh, the big boys, the muscly boys are on the track right here. This is the final of the 100 meters for men. A lot of fuss is made normally of this particular event, I have to say. And well, there's no doubt that Jack and Emery in the middle for Turkey will probably be the favorites for this. They are in lane four and five, Harvey and Barnes, Jack and Emery. They originated from Jamaica, transferred allegiance uh, three years ago to Turkey and running very, very well indeed. Lopez is in lane one for Portugal. 10.30 is his PB. Jonas Nefantopoulos, 10.37 for him. And Catano, I was impressed with his semi-final, I have to say, 10.28 he did per, uh, PB. Don't discount him, he certainly has got a, a chance. But uh, Jack Harvey, well, it's difficult to see him being beaten, although Barnes has got uh, a best at the moment, the season's best of 10.21. And uh, there's the uh, Spanish contender, and Angel Rodriguez. And he could well be in contention for a medal, you know, at uh, 10.14. It's, it's going to be very tough. Diogo Atunis. And Algeria's Mahmoud Mahmoudi, 10.37. Actually, Harvey, Jack Ali Harvey, was originally Jacques Mon uh, Montgomery Harvey in Jamaica. Changed his name when he went to Turkey back in uh, 15. Barnes also is, uh, did the same. They went together, and you have to say that they are... Uh, the favourites for this, though, this Spanish boy, Angel Rodriguez, has got to be in contention as well. He's third away from us as we look down right now. So the two representing Turkey, four and five, will certainly be right there. Catania on their inside for Italy will be hoping to medal. I can't look further than the two Turks and the Spanish boy for one, two and three. It's always dangerous for a commentator to forecast. Anything can happen. Let's see if they can get away for a start. That always helps. Right, 100 meters, final for men. Oh, there you go. That's what I feared. And I have to say, it looked like Lopez. I don't know. It looked like number one, lane number one, Jose Pedro Lopez. We had the same problem in the second uh, semi-final yesterday. But unbelievably, yeah, they are focusing on him. That is Lopez at 3.42. I thought I saw a little bit of movement early. Or was it Nifantopoulos? Uh, number two. What was it? What was the signal there from one of the judges? Oh, and it is lane two. It's Yanis. Nifantopoulos. Oh, my goodness me. He says he didn't hear it. He heard some other noise, but he will be disqualified. It's lane two. Goodness, that is very unfortunate. She's carrying the gun, so she is the one, that's for sure. Well, he might be protesting, but it's not going to make any difference, I can tell you. He is one of those that... Uh, performed so well in the semi-finals and you're very happy to look at the uh, the video and again he has to accept the decision he's out of the competition no one in lane two and of course that puts even more pressure on the others who are waiting concentrating they've already done their warm-up they've already done their concentrating but wow the Greek Nifantopoulos is so disappointed. Yeah, well, he has to acknowledge, uh, having watched the video replay, that he was the first to lift. Here's the guy that expects to win. Jack Ali Harvey with Emre Zafir Barnes. He's still playing some music here. 
Is that relaxed or what? He doesn't have uh, a headset, I can promise you. It's all in his mind. There's a little bit of music going on around the stadium at the moment. Right, well, the flag is for Spain, and the flag is particularly for Angel Rodriguez of Spain. He's certainly got a chance, but the only one under 10 seconds has a personal best is Jack Harley Harvey, 9.92. And I have to say that uh, significantly uh, older. Emery Zaffa Barnes is the, the future. He's only 19 years old, but uh, at 20... Nine is Jack Ali Harvey. He is in four. Four, five, six now. Seven competitors. They're away this time, and it's a good start from Barnes. He's really, really flying. But Harvey's doing pretty well, too. Harvey is coming through. He will take this with absolute consummate ease. And Barnes was in second place. Jack Ali Harvey, you know he's the real deal. When you see under 10 seconds is his best. The world record's only 9.58. <laughs> I say only 9.58. He was so close to the record for the games there, 10.11. And you have to say that is a season's best for Jack Ali Harvey. He had the credentials. He's the one that we were focusing on. He's the one we'd read about. And certainly, although he now represents Turkey, he was a little bit slow off the blocks. Barnes was certainly very, very fast there, but once it came to the 40 metres, it was absolutely in no doubt whatsoever. A really, really good run there from Catania as well for third place. Catania on the right there, Harvey right in the middle, and going very, very strongly, picking up the pace, beautiful, smooth, and there wins by a couple of metres. Fantastic work. Here is the winner of the 100 metres. The gold medalist, Jack Ali Harvey of Turkey, Originally from Jamaica. Here you go. Season's best at 10-10. Harvey was the winner. Barnes was in second. And Catania was in third. He picked up the bronze. So a really, really disappointing result for Rodriguez. He thought it was going to be a Spanish third. But Italy pipped them. We knew that the Turkish boys were the favourites for it. And they were indeed with uh, gold and silver.